This is an after school program. Again, I run it right now currently, so there's no fees for anyone. Um, this, uh, the drones came from a grant through the Arizona Cardinals. So there's no fees, but we're keeping them after school, keeping them busy, keeping them busy with some things that are gonna help them in their future. We just come here out and fly around, do some tricks and stuff. Sometimes we race. We have 12 year olds and up working on, on drones here at the school. Again, we're trying to prepare our kids for careers that haven't been invented yet, so to speak. So we're getting them ready and, and looking into how we can use the STEM areas, science, technology, engineering, and math. Also adding some arts in there with the photography, the videography for careers that they may be interested in when they get a little older. We're all excited about this. And obviously this school has really um, taken the drone um, experiment to be rolled to another level. Students can build pieces for the drones and instead of purchasing the drones, they get to actually build them themselves and fly them. What a great experience preparing, preparing future engineers and astronauts, etc. My son came one day, said that the school was having a drone club and he can join. I said, yeah, you should join. And then the next time he, he told me if I wanted to come in, because I, I build them and fly them, and I said, sure. And ever since then, I've been coming to the club. There is a lot of energy in the school for what the kids are learning and new technologies such as a 3D printer. They learn about flight, building drones, how they work, what data they can get uh, from those drones in order to help them in all their other courses. I like how you can race other friends and do 360s with them. You can make a track and like, race around. We have to re-energize them here and make learning relevant to them and make it exciting for them rather than just sitting down with paper and pencil. And, you know, the beauty of it is we're able to do some of this due to grants, but also that tax credit dollars. Every single dollar is used to purchase equipment or receive um, professional development for the students and classes for them to engage in activities that all have to do with STEAM. When we go to work in real life, we don't bubble in and work with paper and pencil all day. We have to work with real life situations and learning how to collaborate and how to build and how to design. That's what we're teaching the kids here at Pendergast.